is ANN News Brief. I'm Lucy Ademi. Egypt is revamping its economic activities as the nation eases coronavirus restrictions. Economic activities have begun in Cairo, Egypt's capital city. As the government continues to ease COVID-19 restrictions, Egypt has so far reported more than 95,000 COVID-19 infections and 5,035 deaths. Authorities say from the first week of July, daily new coronavirus fatalities and infections in Egypt have started to gradually decline along with an increase in daily recoveries. The most populous Arab country resumed international flights in early July after it lifted a partial nighttime curfew imposed since late March. It reopened restaurants, cafes, theaters, and cinemas, as well as hotels, museums, and archaeological sites, all with limited capacity. Restaurants and cafes in downtown Cairo are only allowed to receive guests at 50% capacity, and the restrictions receive support from residents. The government says easy restrictions is part of a coexistence plan adopted by the government over the past weeks to maintain anti-COVID-19 measures while resuming economic activities. Zimbabwe's president, Tumasi Nagagwa, has on Monday called criticism on human rights abuses by his government divisive uh, falsehoods. Nagagwa says his administration was under renewed attack from domestic and foreign opponents. Human rights groups and lawyers say, uh, say um, Nagagwa has arrested and abducted and tortured so many activists in street demonstrations in late July. The government snuffed out the planned protests by deploying security forces on the streets. Arrests were also made. The main opposition movement for democratic change says about 30 of its members have fled their homes, fearing abduction or arrest by state security agents on Monday. Nagagwa, during a Heroes Day speech in Harare, said the allegations were unjustified attacks by whom he called perennial detractors, both inside and outside the border. Nagago replaced Robert Mugabe after a 2017 coup with hopes that Nagago would unite a polarized uh, country and revive a striking economy. Following the uh, Mugabe era, and, um, Mugabe accuses the West of funding the opposition to destabilize Zimbabwe. We'll be right back. Whether in your house, at your office, on your phone, or online, we are there. We have the fact behind the headlines. We cut to the chase with the news you really need. We cover every angle. We are the bigger, better news network. We are African News Network, ANN. Watch ANN News on MITV from a truly African spirit. Tanzanian authorities have banned all domestic broadcasters from carrying foreign-made content without permission from the government. A new law also bans Tanzanian journalists from working with foreign correspondents unless accompanied by a government minder. Right groups say the Tanzanian authorities have in recent years become increasingly intolerant of criticism. International broadcasters, including the BBC, can currently be seen and heard on local radio and television. Publications have been banned and journalists imprisoned. Correspondents say with uh, elections due in October, the new regulations will raise further questions about the state of democracy and free speech in Tanzania. That is ENA News Brief at 10. For details on these and other breaking stories, visit our website, nnafrica.news. Conversation continues on our social media platforms, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at TV. I'm Lucy Adeyemi.